Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be working on the dining room. We want to do some paneling all around. So it's gonna end up going from this to this. All right, so first let me show you what I got. I got some one by eights. This would be at the bottom where the baseboard goes. So one by sixes, this would be all the way at the top. Then we have some one by fours. These are the ones that go up and down. And then some one by twos. This would be right on top of the one by fours and it would act as a chair rail. So first things first, let's go back to the living room and get all the baseboard out and shoe molding. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, here, tell who you're gonna show them. All right, so first thing, we're just gonna pass the knife right through here. That way when we take the baseboard out, you won't peel the paint with it. So let's pass the knife through here, then we'll pull the shoe molding out, and then the baseboard. All right, now that the baseboard is all out and we have all the caulking removed, we have two options. So option one, as you can see, our wall, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's a little bit texture. So the options you have is you either do a whole skim coat. What a skim coat is, you pretty much grab your compound and you do a light coat, one or two coats, to smooth out the whole wall. Or option two, which that's the option we're gonna take, is you just start paneling it all and paint it. You're still gonna have a little texture inside the paneling, but I think they'll look good. If it doesn't, we can always go back and fix it, but I think it's gonna look good. So first things first, let's put a two, uh, one by eight down here and let's get all this cut up and nailed in. All right, so we have one of the long pieces for the baseboard. One thing I always like to do is right at this edge. It's never perfect when it comes from a factory, so I usually just cut right at the edge. That way when we put a new piece, it's gonna butt perfectly. All right, so I like to use a nail gun for this, and this is a 16 inch gauge and two and a half inch nails. If you don't have one of these, you can always just buy the finished nails, like two and a half inch. Should be plenty to go through the wood, the sheetrock, and get right into the studs. So let's nail this done, and then uh, keep going. All right, the next step is we're gonna cut all the pieces that go up and down the one by four. So I'm gonna cut them four feet and we just gotta measure from here to this corner and from that corner to that corner and get them all evened out and then we'll just nail them up and down. Alright, so 
so once you get to the corner, this piece here, you're gonna wanna take out three quarter inch right from one of the sides. That way, once you take out three quarter inch from here, this side will butt right into that and it will match the same distance here, same distance here. All right, all these are done. The next thing, we're gonna get the one by six and put it right on the top. And from there, we'll grab the one by two and nail it right on the top of that one. All right guys, it's all done. Don't mind the mess over here. It's still a work in progress. So all these are done. And what I ended up doing is all the little holes, I filled it up with wood putty. And then also right here in the joint and I sanded it down. And then all around, I caulked all of them. That way it's nice and smooth. And in the top as well. So the next step now, is to paint the walls and all the trim and all that. I was actually gonna spray it, but I figured it's not that much work to do all this with the little roller. And to spray it, I would have to tape the whole house and all that. So it was a huge mess. I think the roller would be pretty fast. And I ended up picking up, usually I do flat, but for the panel and all that, I ended up getting an eggshell. It'll give it a little bit of shine, not too much, and I think it'll look good. Also, I didn't pick up the trim white because I think it's too white. I ended up doing the Swiss coffee from uh, Bear Home Depot. So uh, let's get this painted and I'll show you the finished product. All right, it is all done. We did two coats of the white and it came out awesome. All the, the little spots you see, it's all the glare from the light, but it came out awesome and we love it. So uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next.